festival goers, listen up. There is a new festival that you're definitely going to want to check out. The essence of the Soul Festival is happening right here in the Crescent City. And one of the artists that you can catch at the festival is Kazme Barnes. Now, we appreciate you stopping by. You are full of energy. I'm so excited <laughs> to talk to you. So tell us all about this event and how awesome it's going to be. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. July 1st, uh, which is a Saturday from 2 to 9, we are doing the Essence of the Soul Festival. And basically what we're doing is we're uniting um, local artists. You know, New Orleans is full of so many different eclectic people outside of just jazz and bounce. We have some amazing indie soul artists and uh, R&B and Christian soul. And so we're all coming together to uplift and unify the community through music. And it's gonna be a day of healing. I'm, I'm very excited about it. Very cool. And you know, one thing that's, it's really cool, I was speaking to you, you've done all sorts of music. You know, you know, yes. bounce music. You had like a rock band at one point. I you did. Know, you did it all. <laughs> kind of touch on where people need to head, tickets, how it all works, and Absolutely. kind of touch on that. Absolutely, so uh, I consider myself a gumbo artist. I've had a chance to travel the world, um, singing backgrounds for a lot of major artists. And that is in the area of pop, rock, R&B, hip hop, and being from New Orleans, of course, you know, we have that, that flair of jazz. So as a gumbo artist, mm -hmm. um, I have a lot of amazing friends too that are coming here for this festival from Nashville, from Atlanta, from Houston, Texas. And we're all gonna be here at one place. If you guys are interested, you can go to nolasgotit.com or today we're running a special, buy one, get one free on TicketWeb. So if you guys wanna come check it out, please follow us on social media, Nola's Got It. And the location of the event? It's gonna be at the historic Harvard Theater. I'm so excited. I mean, this is gonna be a great event. It sounds like it's gonna be an awesome event. And kind of touch on when you get to the venue and you know it's time to perform, mm -hmm. what's gonna be going through your head with all the lights and everything? <laughs> I'm sure it's just gonna be amazing. Well, for me, it's gonna be more about just the performance because um, me and my partners, we put the whole thing together. We just really wanted a platform for indie artists and people who, um, who have such a gift and a gift and a talent that is unrecognized and undiscovered. So this platform is for those people. So I'm going to be making sure everybody else is okay. I go on at six o'clock, but the event starts at, at two, like I said, but we're going to do a red carpet um, bro live broadcast by Hot 103. Uh, so that's going to start at one. And then, you know, just going through the motions of making sure that the energy in the place is great. We have some amazing vendors, business owners are going to be there sharing um, some of the outreach programs that we have here in the city. It's all about the community. It's all about showing love and, and healing. New Orleans is a great place, but there's a lot of things that are going on that we have to address. Okay. And so that's kind of what we're looking for this event to do, just to put people together bring and bring together. a lot of love. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks so much. It was so nice meeting oh, you. Thank you so and much it's for having me. It's going to be an awesome me. event. Of